a five pound mic. Yeah, your arm might get tired. Next time we'll have the mic stands. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Nah, that's dope. But it's good to be here, as always. As always, long time coming. Yes, Full circle. Back right here. It's your boy, Viva Mezcal, right here. Yeah, it was me, uh, Mr. Sagging My Jeans, a.k.a. Rotten, a.k.a. Mr. So Many Names. You don't know what to call him, but right now you can call me Will from HNDP. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back here at the Tech Center, man. It's just been so many years for myself, you know, like we were just talking about, like, the success stories of HNDP. I'm not the only one, and, and there's a lot of us walking around. And I actually ran into Homeboy, who did the shirt printing, Crazy. at the shirt. Uh, uh, K K Fresh, yep, right? Yep, yep. While I was buying shirts on Main Street yesterday, oh. shouts out to K Fresh. He See sees it. the shirt and he goes, Mesca? I'm like, what's up, bro? He's like, I printed those shirts, you know, the ones you're rocking. I'm like, that's what's up. But, and he, you know, he he just, what was refreshing to me was he's like, yeah, you know, I'm a success story from Hard in the Paint. Like, like it was just like, like, you know, the it's way. A, it's a fellowship. It's a camaraderie, man. Yeah, and, and it's crazy. Like, Fabian the world tell you certain people that kind of Help me get started with Heart in the Paint. I'm the first success story from Heart in the Paint. Like, like right. I'm like I'm the first one. Like I remember Aaron, like co-founder. He's sitting there picking me up every day. I'm sitting there rough around the edges, ex felon, got all this crazy stuff going on. He's like, and then when we started Heart in the Paint, I was that was my transition from the streets. That was me like leaving the whole negative lifestyle behind. So like me being the first success story when I run into people like that, like oh yeah, it's like yeah, right, it's all love. right. No, and, you know, and you'll introduce them too. Some of the other success stories I've met even here. And, and that's all you have to say in a sense where like, I don't know, homeboy, some of them. I'm just meeting him for the first time. Yeah. But when he has that 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 title on him of like HNDP success story, like like to me, that symbolizes like, oh, you saw it through. Yep. You 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 kind of use this 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 program for what it could really be used for. And, you know, here we are again for myself years and years, you know, later and now to be able to be bringing lighter fluid, uh, you know, the conference here to the tech technology center and, and with heart in the paint there at our side and, and partnering up like it's amazing. It, it yeah. feels great, man. And, and yeah, no. you know, and, that, and that's ultimately what why we want to do these um, these um, podcasts and these updates. It, it's easy to just see on a post and on IG or, or to to give it a like. But, you know, it's important for, for people to really see what's going on inside here and the resources and you know what these programs and what people like like will right here are doing every day so you know if you want to just let them know you know what how has the technology center been how is hndp doing like what right. what's new what's popping right now what's cracking right, well quick quick update like for those who don't know we are housed at the boyle heights technology center that's where we are currently we're on fourth street in glass um we're out we're at one of two youth source centers that are backed by the LA city. Um, so they're able to provide youth between the ages of 14 and 24 with uh, just amazing resources. So um, we're just kind of one of the entertainment industry partners that they have on site. Um, we've been working with the technology center since the beginning stages, you know, also the affiliation with homeboy industries that we stem from is just really ingrained into the Boyle Heights community. So we come from that lineage and being housed at the technology center is just amazing but we've been doing workshops here years for probably yeah. over t over 10 years plus you know um, we've been housed here officially as their on-site partner handling all entertainment industry stuff since 2016 and now we've made it through the like you know the whole covid wave and we're still here standing and we're looking to re-engage and bring everybody back to the technology center to just re-invite you know just hey what, what have you been up to um, look at what we got going on there's a lot of people and organizations and movements that have kind of fallen to the waste side since COVID. We happen to be some of the people that are the last ones standing and still pushing very strong. So we want to be that spark for everyone else and kind of re-invite and having things like lighter fluid, it just makes sense. You like lighting back the spark, bringing the spark back to the communities and giving people that that, that leverage and that support that they need, you know? So the technology centers here, um, we're open on a Monday through Friday basis and HNDP, we run studios here. We run all entertainment industry programming. So if you want to get involved any just with anything, just we're, we're we're an amazing network. All we do is connect dots and paint beautiful pictures for you. So let's go. Yep. And you know, you're mentioning right now about, you know, with lighter fluid, with how we choose, how we chose the name for lighter fluid too, was because we wanted to be that fuel, yeah. right? Like, and, and, and you guys are the fire. 
You know, I always say that on my posts and sometimes I'll be like, you guys are the fire. And I feel like it's like a catch slogan or like, you know, this this cheesy camp camp, uh, you know, camp slogan from from summer camp. But it's like that's really how we feel like without you, the artist or without you, like that that young entrepreneur, that person who has that hunger, that has that passion, like. Without that fire, we have nothing, you know, and, and ultimately all culture. this. We lose it as a culture. So what I've seen is that um, our current generation doesn't have the community aspect that we kind of might have grown up with, like hanging out on the streets, going to parties and having a like get a flyer handed to you. Right. Right. Like that type of era. So we felt connected to our culture right now. They, there's a lot of people participating and just being aware of it, being the, the, the audience members and they jump in and jump out. But when it comes down to us, this stuff has changed our lives. Like we've taken music, creative expression, um, entrepreneurialism from being broke and in, in, in the get, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, and and it's part of our life. So to be able to pass that down to the right people is it keeps our culture alive. Otherwise, we're gonna end up on an assembly line. And right now, we're getting taken out by technology. So who knows? yeah, yeah. Now we got to get in front of it. We talk about this all the time, but just the times are changing. We got to change with them, and yeah. we got to be, you know, innovating and 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 pushing and and knocking on the doors and asking the right questions because you know it's not it's not hidden from us but in a lot of ways it's not shown to us enough where we believe that that it's ours as well but there's a big beautiful world out there there's a lot of opportunity out there and there's a lot of great things happening and we just want to bring that more clo you know closer to to your optics and closer to the people in our community yeah. so you know once again we invite anyone out there who who uh who has a passion, who, who's trying to learn how to rap, you're trying to learn how to produce, you're trying to learn how to write, you're trying to learn how to make films, anything in the entertainment industry, anything in the business side, you know, you want to learn how to do accounting, how to do, you know, business and yeah. get loans and get, get your, get, get your homeboy signed or get, run a record label because you see so much talent out here, like, we can help you guys, you know, yeah. and that, and that's just the easiest way to say it. We are yeah, a but source for you. Before you get into all the stuff, like the, the stuff that you're going to be giving to people, kind of back up a little bit. Why lighter fluid? And and what what why lighter fluid? Just why lighter fluid? Well, you know, from from the name, like we said, we wanted to fuel the fire that we see. Fluid? But you know, like lighter fluid, it's a it's a it started off as a showcase and. You know, we we talked about Diamond in the Rough, which was one of the earliest iterations of like this community driven showcase and backyard style. Right. We see La Russell out in North, North Cal. Right. Like 12 years ago, we did that same thing where in my backyard, I put it out there and invited all the dopest MCs or anyone out there who was hungry. And they came and auditioned and I went and booked us a venue and I didn't know anything of what I was doing. I just saw the talent and I, I didn't see anyone doing it. And I went, what if we just did it ourselves? And so lighter fluid is just the evolution of that idea, you know, and we've been redoing it, re, you know, keeping it alive for years and years now from, from diamond in the rough, it turned into music and mayhem, which turned into, you know, uh, the, the grind house and turned into, we had like, like hip hop is alive showcase. Like we've done this iteration so many times and now this is just the latest and greatest. And, and it again comes full circle to now be on a scale where we can, can present it at this level right. and use the youth center in all of its full potential. Right? Like, like from the student just using a board or using a mic, that's how we started. That's all we needed. We just needed a cable and a mic. Right, right. Who's got that? Right, right. And now we're asking for who's got a capacity for 350 people yeah. and yeah. has state of the art sound systems yeah. and, you know, yeah. comprehensive marketing strategies to be able to make yeah. sure we and it's like, whoa, whoa, yeah. what, when did like, this happen? Right. Yeah. All we were worried about was a dope flyer and yeah. some beers That's and a couple homies yeah. in the crowd. Right. The speaker, hopefully the speakers didn't blow. Right. Right. You know, so. Yeah, so that that's what it's about, man. Like that's why lighter fluid. That's why a year ago when I started this endeavor with eighty six Inca, yeah. you know, I told them like we've we've done this before. What are we gonna do to push past it? Okay. So with lighter fluid, it was about highlighting the artist. Then from there came the conference, right. adding education, 
adding networking. How come we don't connect? Noah James, you're from the Valley. Hey, you're from here. You're, how come we don't ever just come together in the same room and, and share space, right? So it was through that idea. And now naturally we find ourselves here at the tech center, a place literally yeah. built on those values and fundamentals. It's real. And, and we're able to now bring that and, and with lighter fluid. So that's yeah. amazing. No, I like it. I like it. I like, you know, and it's crazy. Like me being hard in the paint, like I'm a, I'm a hard in the paint success story. Um, it was built around me leaving a negative lifestyle and utilizing my creative and my aspirations to be an entrepreneur behind people supported. And so I think we come from like that experience of, Hey, we might've been rough around the edges going this direction, but Hey, if we go here, we got you and we're going to support you. And we took that leap. Right. And so I think for me, it's like lighter fluid is that like platform where people can take a leap in, yep. you know, and, yep. and, and be part of a, 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 a network of people that are all taking leaps. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and, and build that platform and build that stage. Like you said, we're taking a leap with the event. And when we're reaching out to people and when we're putting our neck on the line, our money on the line, our time on the line to get to get that stage, to get that that person to pay attention. And then that's where you step in. That's where the artist steps in. That's where the you know, that song is heard in a new way and that message is felt in a new way. And and, you know, it, it, it's only when the chips are down. When you sacrifice and you give it up, yeah. right? And that's why showing up is so important. And, and um, you know, I hope people show up and, and pull up and take advantage of what we're doing and what Heart in the Pain and what the Youth Center has to offer. Yeah, so, all right, quick, quick, let you guys know what we do here at the Youth Center. We're like a power strip. So imagine a power strip and imagine this power strip connected on, imagine this, oh, mic check, mic check real quick. All right, cool, we here. Imagine this power strip connected to each resource that a community needs to self-sustain itself. Um, safety, um, finance, resources, health, wellness, everything like that. Um, reflecting on the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So if you guys Google that real quick, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, hopefully we can put it like a little text in the video. Um, but imagine a power strip and then everybody plugging in. The Boyle Heights Youth Technology Center is a city backed for like um, opportunity um, ran by the youth source and we could literally say Los Angeles is helping to dissolve poverty by for providing paid internships to specific qualifying youth so with us doing the entertainment we're one of their pathways directly towards the entertainment industry and so by doing conferences like lighter fluid we're able to bring the previous generation of professionals, the ones that want to give back on panels and teach workshops and be part of the support system and then plug them into the next generation. So like talk a little bit about beyond just the conference and like this this whole event how, leading up and then maybe after how what are what are people gaining? Right. Well, I mean. From like an artist point where we book you, you know, we, we do a media day, we get you uh, pictures, headshots, interviews, um, and get you media covered for, you know, performing on the show. Uh, if you're one of the people who signs up for the conference, while you get a bunch of uh, resources, you know, you're going to be able to be in our Discord, be able to see certain stuff that we're sharing amongst each other, certain resources, and, you know, just kind of like being in a community of people who are grinding just like you and are and are trying to achieve the same goals as you and figuring it out, figuring it out along the way just the same way you are right so um yeah that's that's definitely been one of our main goals like really making the artist feel like an artist like a star that's getting dope. them them photos it's it, to me it's beautiful when we when we do it we do the photo uh shoot and we tell people right because we used to hit people up send us a picture for your for for your event right, right. it's the same picture right 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 or they don't got them yep artist has to go out and just take one with their phone yeah. that's cool now we got amazing phones but, you get away with it but but imagine back when you're just the flip phone you're doing nah, this thing or you're or someone still, sends you a, yeah someone sends you a selfie in the restroom or just chicken professional you take them photos like having muds or somebody like you know right. you're right a photo shoot for you matters so much and it teaches you as an artist if you haven't had that experience before so. and so when we've done that we also see the the artist reusing those photos yeah. for future stuff and it, and it feels good you That's know amazing. to know like oh that was taken here a ladder fluid on top of that with That's the cool. interviews we provide where we ask them questions we dig into their music we ask them about their music about their path you know and and 
questions they probably just haven't had the chance to get answered right. or have on film that they can use for future content, right. whether it be voiceovers or whether it be a press kit or some type of future booking, right? right? So that's been like really high, high on our thing, obviously providing just like a, a, a high a high grade like experience just high quality performers and and security and how we treat people and just the love we show people has always been since we're at the boulevard with 30 people showing up that was our goal right treat those 30 people like they're the best people in the world right and because they came out they they spent their money they spending their time and now we've built it up to our last event was 130 people right, right, right. and still making each of those people who came in feel good yeah. feel safe feel welcome feel you know like they're gaining something and yeah. and so it's the same thing now with the conference how do we scale that up now but also just provide so much more as we assemble all this amazing talent yeah. like we're sitting here like i'm sitting here looking at notes and it's like we got a lot of stuff for you guys and it's going to continue to grow it's just like i'm, I'm looking forward to it. like i wish i was an artist starting out yeah. Right now. So. Yep. All right. Last quick question. Um, how can people stay involved, and what value do you want them to leave with when it comes down to this, this recording right here, this this podcast or whatever they call it? You right. Know? No. I, I hope you guys take the leap. I hope you, you know, from us and and the the updates we give and dropping these videos just makes you feel comfortable enough to come through and see for yourself. You know, see for yourself. Follow HNDPLA on IG. Follow Lighter Fluid LA on IG. ELTR Network. Follow myself, Viva Mezcal, on, on Instagram. And, and yeah, just check us out, man. That's it. You know, make your own judgment. Don't, don't just make a, a quick snap decision based off of a video or a flyer or something you've heard. Come through. Yeah. See for yourself. Really use it. And even for myself, every time I've come to this place, you know, to the tech center, even too hard in the paint throughout the years. There's been lapses where I don't come for years, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and every time I do, every time, even though it's right there sometimes, I pass by and this is home. Yep. Sometimes it's how it is, right? You haven't been a cousin's house or you yep. haven't been a whatever, right? And you stop by and it's love and it's yep. family. And you're like, damn, like this is this is that feeling, right? And and so for me, even for myself, to just know that, like, oh yeah, I'm welcome here every time. Oh yeah, it's love here every yep. time. And, and so, yeah, that's what I want you guys to get from it. You know, come through, check it out, judge for yourself, and we'll come teach you some stuff and have some fun and make some dope music, man. For sure, for sure. And then for me, um, Heart in the Pain, we have workshops all the time. Send us a DM. We have partnerships with a lot of different organizations as well. We're always looking to open and expand our network of organizations. So if you, if you want us to bring any of our services or resources to you, just hit us up. Um, but we're going to have day-to-day -day workshops, so studio workshops, business workshops going on. We're going to have Freestyle Fridays going on Friday. And that's a perfect opportunity for you, for you to get introduced to everything that we do. Like literally, if you want to meet Mezcal, you want to meet me, you want to meet anyone from our network, that's the perfect way to start. Um, and then, like I said, just stay in the network. Like you said, um, we're here for you guys. I mean, we're the goal is national expansion. You know, we want to make sure that, you know, we curate for our community and, and our part of the entertainment industry. And if you've ever heard of how the entertainment industry was before, um, just jump on board and help us out. Let's get this party started. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Well, great, man. It's been right. great chopping up with you. You already know, Will. Come through, harden the paint, lighter sure. fluid Fridays. We'll see you guys next time, man. Peace.